celebrate all saints today. So we meditate on the communion of saints, the uh, saints triumphant today, uh, all the saints that are in heaven. Tomorrow we celebrate saints suffering in purgatory. And uh, we, of course, are the saints on earth, hopefully, living a good life, struggling ourselves, struggling with the saints militant, we say, fighting against uh, our, our, our sinful inclinations and, and the evils of the world, struggling to be faithful to God each day to the end of our life. But we look today at the saints triumphant. Uh, maybe we can think of three things there, three celebrations of them, they and their individual lives, all the, the heroic things they did, the holy things, the beautiful, amazing things that they did for God and for their neighbor. And secondly, that we long to be with them. Uh, we long to ask for their uh, help in this life, long to have a relationship with them here on earth, and then long for it in heaven with them and the, and the angels and Mary and Jesus and God the Father. We long to be with them. And thirdly, that we have to become saints too. We are called to be saints, the universal uh, call to holiness that we all have, and that we're all called to be individual, unique saints. I'm not copying anybody else. I'm called to do what God wants me to do, what you want, God wants you to do individually today. So we look at uh, the, the saints and they're our role models. We need to read the lives of the saints. We need to come to know them so that we have a, a, a model to follow in, in our own life. You know, they, they say the, the people who are living in the poor places in the, in the country or in, anywhere in the world, some kids don't even have a role model to follow. All they do is, all they have is, they see around them is crime. They see uh, broken families. They see uh, uh, drug, drug addictions and all kinds of evil behavior and they have nobody good to see. And so they don't even know how to live. So how important it is to have role models to follow uh, and so we can read about them. If we don't see them around us, we can read about them. We can learn about them uh, through the teachings of the church. And then we have things to follow, to look at, to pattern our own lives by. And we should find friends too, friends who are good, who pray, who go to church, who try to live a good life, try to love God and hang around with them uh, and maybe we too can be good leaders. You know, we can we can be models for other people. You know, set the set that example for others. We're all we need to have this kind of company, and we need to be leaders too. The saints were all leaders. They didn't follow the ways of the world because most people do not live a holy life. Most people do not. Uh, and, but the saints, they, they, buck, they buck the trend. They tell, they tell other people they shouldn't do this, they shouldn't do that. And if they do anyway, they don't follow them. They are true leaders and they are strong. They are strong and they do many good things, many, many good things. The saints were very heroic and they, 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 they were, you know, the leaders in the battles. They were in the front lines. They were the ones that called the charge. Look at St. Joan, St. Joan of Arc, a 16-year-old girl led the armies of France in battle. And she would run, she would run, uh, lead the charge with all these valiant men around her. She would lead the charge and carry the banner and go right up to the walls of the castles and she was fearless, and uh, God was with her. She was fearless in the strength that God gave her, that she prayed for, and that she did what God led her to do, and God, God was totally behind her, and she led the armies. She's really an, an example, you know, 16 year old girl, 17, 18 years old, as she fought the battles for France uh, through those ages. Uh, so if they, she could do that at that age, and she was just a heroic person because when she was captured and taken by the English and she was uh, brought before the, uh, in prison and she had to stand on trial and she was, uh, 
uh, <clears throat> all alone. She didn't have any lawyers to help her. She was there all alone, praying to God and trusting that he's going to enlighten her to defend her against the charges of heresy, that she was a witch, that she was doing evil things, and she was following uh, evil counsel. No, she stood all, all alone. You know, just a young girl at that 20, 20, 21 years by that time when she was on trial. And she, and she, she stood against them all, and she, uh, she confounded them all, all the bad lawyers, all the bad bishops and priests who were against her. She confounded them all, and she spoke the truth, and she amazed everyone. And she uh, went to, her, to the stake and was burned to death. <clears throat> Uh, burned to death, and she was faithful to God until the very end, looking at the crucifix while she's burning, looking at the crucifix, and now she's proclaimed a saint. Just one tiny example of all the many amazing things that the saints did because they trusted in God, they prayed, and they depended on God to strengthen them to be faithful to Him. And that's what we are called to do, too, as we think about ourselves we can become saints. All of us can become saints, can be holy in our own unique, unique way by praying to God and looking for what his will is for us, what he wants me to do, what he wants you to do, individually, uniquely, differently from everyone else. I am to look for that. So we pray to God, enlighten me. Enlighten me what you want me to do today, tomorrow, the next day, all the days of my life and praying for God's grace and strength so that we stay faithful, because there's a lot of dangers around us, a lot of bad people, a lot of bad situations around us. We have within us the selfishness that tries to pull us down, and so we have to pray hard. The saints prayed very much. They prayed very much, and they loved very much. They had enormous love within their hearts that God planted there, because they asked for it. So the saints are great prayers, and they are great lovers, and they are great faithful people, strong in the strength that God gives them, and they last to the end. They last to the end. As we look at the finish line, we look at our death, we look at our last breath, we look at that, and then say, I'm going to make it there, I'm going to run the race, I'm going to be faithful all the days of my life, with this, the grace that God gives me. So we think about these things today, and uh, it really strengthens us, looking at the saints, uh, asking for them to help us to, to, to do what they did in our own unique way. <clears throat>